What do you make of the, the current results where the RPF has won with a landslide victory? I'm not that surprised. We all knew the outcome. Uh, the results had been decided a long time ago. The Rwandans vote uh, through a secret ballot. They are free to decide who should lead them. So why would you think this time around they didn't vote out of choice? First of all, the, the National Electoral Commission has no capacity to organize, uh, to organize uh, free and fair elections. Number two, um, most Rwandans live in fear, in terror. So they, uh, even those who do vote for RPF do so mostly out of fear. What do you think made you fail to make it to uh, among the candidates uh, in the presidential race 2017? Uh, I was disqualified uh, on baseless grounds, uh, fabricated lies, Mm, the required number of signatures to be able to run in Rwanda is 600. I almost doubled that number. Some critics of yours believe or think that you're just acting out of revenge because your father, before he died, he fell out with the current regime. I've heard that before, that uh, I'm doing this out of revenge but uh, I do not believe in human revenge. Um, I believe uh, that is God's job, <laughs> not mine. Do you sincerely believe uh, you are a lady or a woman who could change Rwanda, the face and everything? Yes, I do believe so. What I makes do believe you think, what makes you believe so? Because I uh, not only have seen and heard uh, the suffering of Rwandans, but I myself, uh, have been uh, living that suffering. I saw uh, uh, the Guardian quoting you saying that uh, Rwanda is like a girl who is wearing makeup but inside they are dirty. They look beautiful outside but inside they are dirty. What do you mean here? The, our government has been focusing so much on image, on how the country looks like. Uh, look at the nice tall buildings we have. Look at the convention center that has cost over six hundred million dollars. So they had been more. Um, they had been investing more uh, in, um, in in perception uh, because they have so much to hide. Is there any country or anybody who'd want who not want to see clean streets, good buildings in town? I think it's an achievement that most people would be proud of. I think what is needed first is. Um, uh, the well-being of Rwandans. And uh, I don't see how these hotels and these nice tall buildings can um, uh, affect uh, Rwandan lives. When the, there were nude pictures that went all over social media, and in fact that's where most people, especially like in Uganda, got to know you. So were those your real pictures? Those pictures uh, were doctored, uh, photoshopped, um, and uh, that was done in order to silence me. Do you have any credit that you give to the current regime in power? Yeah, I do. Um, I would say we, do, we no longer have those uh, Hutu and Tutsis in our ID. Is that the only thing that you see? That uh, we have a clean, uh, clean city, that's also good. What next now that you didn't make it to stand? Well, the day I was supposed uh, to start campaigning, um, I started a movement mm. called People's Salvation Movement. Itabaza in Kenya, Rwanda. And uh, what we do, what uh, the movement is about, is to call on to Rwandans to uh, stand up, uh, speak up, and uh, strive for our rights.